Bruce Brooks held that Holden's attitude remains unchanged at story's end, implying no maturation, thus differentiating the novel from young adult fiction. Quote, in contrast, Louis Menon thought that teachers assign the novel because of the optimistic ending to teach adolescent readers that alienation is just a phase. While Brooks maintained that Holden acts his age, Menon claimed that Holden thinks as an adult, given his ability to accurately perceive people and their motives. Others highlight the dilemma of Holden's state in between adolescence and adulthood. Holden is quick to become emotional. I felt sorry as hell for, is a phrase he often uses. It is often said that Holden changes at the end, when he watches Phoebe on the carousel. And he talks about the golden ring and how it's good for kids to try to grab it. Peter Beidler in his A Reader's Companion to J. D. Salinger, S. The Catcher in the Rye identifies the movie that the prostitute, Sunny, refers to. In chapter 13 she says that in the movie a boy falls off a boat. The movie is Captain's Courageous. 1937. Starring Spencer Tracy. Sunny says that Holden looks like the boy who fell off the boat. Beidler shows a still of the boy. Played by child actor Freddie Bartholomew. Each Caulfield child has literary talent. D. B. writes screenplays in Hollywood. Holden also reveres D. B. for his writing skill. Holden's own best subject. But he also despises Hollywood industry-based movies. Considering him the ultimate in phony, as the writer has no space for his own imagination and describes D. B. S. moved to Hollywood to write for films as prostituting himself. Ali wrote poetry on his baseball glove. And Phoebe is a diarist. This catcher in the rye is an analogy for Holden, who admires in children attributes that he often struggles to find in adults, like innocence, kindness, spontaneity, and generosity. Falling off the cliff could be a progression into the adult world that surrounds him and that he strongly criticizes. Later, Phoebe and Holden exchange roles as the catcher and the fallen. He gives her his hunting hat, the catcher's symbol, and becomes the fallen as Phoebe becomes the catcher. In their biography of Salinger, David Shields and Shane Salerno argue that the Catcher in the Rye can best be understood as a disguised war novel. Salinger witnessed the horrors of World War II. But rather than writing a combat novel, Salinger, according to Shields and Salerno, took the trauma of war and embedded it within what looked to the naked eye like a coming-of-age novel. Quote, 